Whether you're just starting a nonprofit, new to development, or a seasoned veteran, there are four principles that are essential to success in development and fundraising, especially if you hope to get fully funded this year. Today, we're going to address the difference between friend raising and fundraising. Stay tuned. Oftentimes, people confuse the terms development or friend raising and fundraising. They either use the two interchangeably or misunderstand the definition of one or the other. Fundraising is something you do to someone, where friend raising is something you do with someone. To put it differently, fundraising is transactional. Friend raising is transformational. Think of an ATM. No one cares about an ATM until they need one. Then when money is received, they are no longer important until the next time money is needed. Unfortunately, financial partners are oftentimes viewed the same way. They receive our time and attention, sometimes as we ask for money with great passion and urgency. But soon that attention fades and with it, the care. That is a transactional relationship. Fundraising oftentimes places the emphasis on raising funds, getting in someone's pocketbook, but friend raising shifts the emphasis from growing funds to building friends. Don't get me wrong, it's the desire that people ultimately partner with their funds, but I want to start by building friendships. For the generation born prior to 1946, often referred to as the greatest generation, transactional relationships were commonplace. They were known to be very brand loyal. My dad always owned a Buick and never deviated throughout his life. He was brand loyal to the church and other sources of his donations. There wasn't anything they could do, good or bad, to change his opinion of them. Money was donated with a high level of trust that the gift would be used in a worthy manner. Whether the organization cared about him was irrelevant. He reflected the thinking of that generation. Then, from 1946 to 64, the baby boom generation rose up and their opinions on many things were vastly different. They were no longer brand loyal. Their purchases were based on quality and performance. Buick was replaced by Toyota, Honda, and Lexus, and views on giving changed as well. Baby boomers now wanted to know where their money was spent and cared greatly about the use of the money, specifically the results and outcomes. They also wanted to say in how the money was spent and thus joined boards to influence how the money was spent. Relationships with leadership mattered greatly as a way of influencing the use of gifts and the outcomes. And genuine, not superficial relationships began to matter. Thus, the shift from transactional to transformational relationships. More ownership in organizations by the financial partners and closer, deeper relationship with the organization's leadership. All the research I've seen shows that Gen Z, Millennials, and even, it seems, Gen Z are also wanting transformational relationships and their interest and involvement and even engaging in the work of the organization seems strong. Today's cutting edge nonprofit leaders incorporate transformational relationship building. This includes genuine relationships and partners can tell the difference between genuine and forced. They include financial partners in the planning and decision making and utilize their expertise to better the organization. In addition, they use development as their catalyst for, not for next level relationships. For the past 38 years, my wife and I have been funded by individuals who are fully committed to our efforts with our nonprofit and see themselves as equal partners in achieving the mission, vision, and values that we share. I have incorporated transformational relationship building and development in all my interactions with them as well as the individuals that support our organization corporately. Your organization can become fully funded by understanding these essential principles. Focus on friend raising, focus on integrated strategy, which includes public relations, recruitment, and fundraising. Focus on abundance mentality. And lastly, win, keep, and lift your partners to new levels of involvement. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below and share this with a friend. If you wish to watch future videos on this channel, hit the subscribe button and click the bell 
to be notified immediately of the release of the next video. If you're on Instagram, follow me at Jim W. Dempsey. Or if you're on Facebook, join my Life Changers community. If you have questions, go to fundraisingmasterminds.net forward slash Jim and Java and I'll answer questions there. If you want to know what to do or what to say on an appointment with a major donor, watch this video and take your development efforts to the next level. I've included a new video. As always, I wish you the best as you strive to become fully funded. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video.